I'm telling you guys, man. There's no greater feeling in the world than proving people wrong. And proving yourself right. Making everybody eat their words. Making everybody view you as you know you are. There's no greater feeling in the world. And there's also no worse feeling in the world. Well, maybe there is, but this is a pretty bad one. There probably is a worse feeling in the world than this, to be honest. I can never lie. But... People looking at you as something that you're not. You know you're so much more than how other people are trying to view you or speak to you or look at you or or anything like this. It's just, it's more so not a bad feeling, but more so of an annoyance. I get annoyed when people want to talk to me like as if they know something I don't know or as, or as if like, they're smarter than me or or better than me when literally, like, get the fuck out of here, bro. Like, if you really are, you are. It'd be clear as day if someone was that much further ahead than me. But the fact that these morons, who are not even close to your level in any way, shape, or form, in literally no way, want to come up to you and just act like they're better than you and it's like what in the actual fuck like there's delusional then there's delusional bro and that's how these people are it's more of an annoyance it's like like even like let's say your family your friends whoever they kind of just throw you under the bus they doubt you they just they treat you not good they, they don't treat you as you know you are it's an annoyance. It puts a chip on your shoulder. It does piss you off, at least to, a, to an extent. There's no greater feeling in the world than proving all of these motherfuckers wrong, bro. And proving yourself right. It is a amazing feeling. An amazing feeling. Shutting everybody the fuck up. And you really do the damn thing. You get the job done. Whatever it is that you do. You just, you really did it. And some of you guys are watching this video. And you haven't reached that point yet. You haven't got to that point yet. But you're on your way. You're on your way there, dog. And I'm here to tell you. To keep it fucking moving. Keep going, bro. Keep going. Prove those motherfuckers wrong. I was just about to say something I didn't... I was about to say, and shove it in their face. You don't even have to do that. You don't even have to shove it in their face. I really haven't. I could have. I could have done a lot. And I might have done a little. I might have done a little. But I have not done things and shoved things in people's faces like I could have. I'm going to leave a little bit there. I'm ready to use things against people if the occasion calls for it. But I'm not really, I'm not one to just kind of start things to just, because I feel... It's just not in me to do that. I feel it's not who I actually am. So if I start to do that, I'm being kind of something that I'm not. To just be more like them. And I'm not going to do that unless you bring it there to me. Unless you want to do something or say something. And then I'll come at you with facts. Which you're drawing it out of me to put that in your face. I'm not just going to go and put it in their face. I'll be the bigger man. And you should be the bigger man or the bigger woman. And not just come out and just do that. But instead, just kind of let your actions speak for itself. They will fold in due time just through your actions. And it's going to hit them even harder than if you were to throw it in their face very hard. Because now they know they got under your skin. Now they know 
certain things and you don't even have to give them that power. You can just be who you are and your power will override them. You will get to that point. And that's an amazing point. Because <clears throat> these types of people, bro, are truly powerless. Truly, truly powerless people that have amounted to absolutely nothing. Quack. And they want to tell you this and that and that and this and, and whatever and come up to you and act all cool or act a certain way and it's... You're fooling absolutely nobody, Richard. The fuck are you doing? And the fuck are you on? It's just amazing what the nerve some people have. And it's humorous. It just makes you shake your head. It baffles you. What? <clears throat> but like I said, sticking to the game plan, proving the people wrong, proving yourself right, getting what you want, getting what you rightfully deserve out of life from all the work that you put in when everything comes together there's no greater feeling in the world you are now exactly what you knew you were the entire time you knew it for since you were probably born and your time finally came it's an amazing feeling it's a red panty nut where I come from baby break out the red panties Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and these crazy ass individuals are going to have to live the rest of their lives knowing the cowards that they truly are because what they do it is coward cowardly moves it is it's disrespectful it's arrogance on their side. And honestly, it's a it's a good thing that these things can ha can can happen to you. It's a good thing. I'm telling you right now to take it from me. Take it from my experience. These things will light a fire so hard under your ass, bro. It's going to put you out on top. And if it don't, nothing will. If, if that kind of stuff don't get you up, I don't know what will. I really don't. You need that kind of stuff. You need that chip on your shoulder. I've heard from people that I even speak to this day. Not overly a lot, but some. And even they saw it on me. Wow. You have a chip on your shoulder. I just looked at them, yep, you're not wrong. I'm not going to sit here and lie. You're not wrong. I do got a chip on my shoulder. Watch this. It's about, it's about proving yourself, bro. You go out there and you prove yourself because you know you're this. There's people trying to gaslight you out there, bro. There's motherfuckers out there trying to gaslight you, trying to make you believe that you're not who you know you fucking are. How annoying is that? It just makes you want to, like... Strangle these motherfuckers, bro. Which is why you don't do that, because that's stupid. You're going to get in trouble. You use all that. You, you put it on you like a sheet of armor. You're just armoring up your whole body. You're putting all these chips, especially on your shoulders. And it's go time, baby. Yeah? You don't think so? Okay. Okay. You wait. You're going to see. You're going to see pretty quick. People can be disrespectful, bro. You're better than a lot of people think. You're better than a lot of people think you even are. People know you're damn good, but you're even better than they think. You're even better than that. That's how good you are. That's how gifted you are. You're even better than you, than you probably think you are. And especially them. You're way better. Way more gifted. There's a reason why you are who you are today. 
there's a reason why you achieved what you have achieved thus far today and continue to go and strive for further greatness and successes. And you have cowards mistreating you. It is mistreating you. They do do that. They want to act like they don't. Oh, well, what do you deserve? Special treatment? Oh, well, whoa, 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 whoa. You're just a negative little bitch is what you are. They want to treat you average. They want to treat you as if, like, you're just not who you are. There's really no other way I can explain that. It's exactly what they do. They treat you as if you're not who you are in the position you're in with what you've done, with just who you've become. Like, it's so, it's it's just annoying. Like, they're annoying-ass, delusional people who are so far behind in life, it's not even fucking funny. And they have the nerve to do all that shit. On top of that, throwing shaming tactics at you. Calling you this, calling you that. When it's just shaming tactics. They're not in denial with the truth. They are in denial with the truth. Is what they are. They don't want to accept the truth that you actually are that. It's like they can't. They don't want to. It's like they refuse to. And they want to treat you bad. Because that's what they want. That's what they want to happen. So the last thing they can do is just treat you fairly. They got to act smarter. They got to act better when they're just not. Like if you are, like I said, you are. You're not going to be acting the way you act and disrespecting people and, and doing all that crazy stuff. If you actually were as, as good as you actually are, these people are fucked. Like they have literally nothing going for themselves at all. Not connected with themselves at all. They are lost. Am I wrong? No. No, I'm not. They are wrong. Delusional. Not in touch with themselves. Not in touch with reality. Haters. You're going to shock your haters. They're going to be shocked at who you actually become. You probably already shocked them to an extent. <gasps> they lost their breath. Oh my God, they're just, no, in disbelief. How could this happen to them and not to me? You're fucked, pal. You see? It proves my point right there. You're in a fucking daydream, la-la land, I don't know what. Because you're so pressed over what someone else has become. <gasps> they see you and what you've done and what you've become. <gasps> They're just so sh shell-shocked. I told you, pal. Now, wake up. Wake up. And then they get pissed. And that's how the story goes. Then they never look at you the same. Then they might unfriend you on social media. Because they just cannot. They cannot. Stand. To see your rise. To see your success. To see who you're becoming. To see that you will never quit. To see that you will never fail. Because you will never accept it. You just keep going and going and going and going. And growing. And glowing. Is what you do. And they can't take it. They can't handle it. They just, their hate grows for you more and more and more. You just get greater and greater and greater. They become more hateful and hateful and hateful. Because they're the same type of people that think life is easier than it actually is. And they get all these wake up realities and wake up calls. We all get them. We all get them to an extent. But these people are hella delusional. And are not willing to fix themselves, fix fix anything about themselves. They're not willing to go through those plateaus to actually become what they want to become. 
We can all get some wake-up calls and reality checks in life. I've got many. But guess what? The difference between me and some of these individuals is I will break through those levels because I keep promises I make to myself. There's always these plateaus. There's always these things we always got to overcome. We all might have thought certain things was going to be easier than it was. There was also things that I thought was going to be harder than it was. So things can kind of even out sometimes as well. But even those hard things, I will overcome. I will get the job done. I will do it. But these weak ass individuals, bro, they're not going to do it. They're not going to. They think life is easier than it is. Their reality checks are going to hit different. It's going to keep them as hateful and as average as they'll ever be. Because they can't come to terms with what life really is. Just like they can't come to terms with who you are as a person. All you ask is they see you. All you ask from them is that they, they don't have to kiss your toes, do nothing like that. No. No. Just let people be who they are. If someone is an NHL player, they're a fucking NHL player. Let them be that. Don't bring them down. Appreciate all their hard work and what they've done and where they've made it. Give that motherfucker a round of applause. And I don't mean you have to literally do it out loud, but like you should be respectful of their grind. You don't get to any high heights in life at all. Easy. It takes next level shit. I don't care who you are, what kind of type of privilege you've ever had. It still takes hella work. You don't just get things. People on the internet, you'll see these haters in comments. On professional athlete pages, oh, you're just so lucky you'll make this many millions a year for doing this. And you just, it's so easy and all. No. No. You know what's easy? To do what the fuck they do. Bitch and complain and mind, whine and groan. About other people succeeding instead of going the fuck out there and actually bleeding, sweating, putting in work, being uncomfortable, having your lungs filled with lactic acid to the point where you can barely fucking breathe, getting injuries, going through surgeries, recovering, building your strength back up again, maintaining a proper diet, staying disciplined, not partying. So easy. On top of being the best in the world at every level until you get to the biggest leagues. Outperforming everybody else. Being the best until you get to the top. <clears throat> and if you're the best of the best at the top, you're just... You're very gifted. And these motherfuckers are still hating on people like that, bro. You see what I'm saying here? And I'm just using that as an example. These people are warped mentally. They don't want to accept reality. They don't. They don't want to accept reality. And how hard things actually are. So they make up all these excuses as to why people become who they become and done what they've done. And how it's so easy. Disrespecting people. Acting like a top G. No. No. You're delusional. It takes so much work, bro. So much. But they'll forever be that way. Forever and always. So you guys go out there and shock these motherfuckers. Whether it's trolls on the internet. Whether it's your damn fucking parents, whether it's your family, whether it's your friends, whether it's your spouse. And you shouldn't even be with her or him anyways if they're your spouse and they're doubting you that hard. Fuck them. They ain't with you. A real one would see you for what you really are. Truthfully. There wouldn't be a shadow of a doubt. If your significant other is doubting you, bro, that's an automatic you should not even be with them at all. 
there's a reason why haters get left behind. There's a reason why old friends get left behind. Just like your spouse. Got to get left behind. If she has no faith in you, bro. If she don't want to build you up, vice versa. If you're a dude and you have no faith in your bringing your woman down, you have no faith in her, you're negative, why should she be with you? She shouldn't. That should be long gone. It's like having, it's like keeping a toxic old friend around. Letting them criticize you. Letting them be negative to you. Letting them bring you down. No. Ew. Get the fuck out of here. So like I said, the best feeling ever is proving all these motherfuckers wrong, bro. And proving yourself right. The best feeling. Because there's so much negativity in this world. And these, these parasites, these losers, they're getting damn good at what they're doing. Trying to make it seem as if they're not even doing that. Trying to hide the fact. It's exactly what they're doing. And it's exactly what they were doing since day one. But people want to hide their little hate-ish ways. But if you're smart, you're going to see through it. You're going to see through what they're doing. You need people to compliment you. You need people to encourage you. God does not want us hating. God does not want us to be that way. We should be loving, caring, kind, generous. Building people up. Like, I know a fellow I'll work with the odds on, which I mentioned in a video before this, and maybe in some past videos, but he's super talented, man. He's an old, he's, he's, a, he's a bit of an older fellow now, older than me, but he's so talented at what he does. I've seen him do so many different things, and it's just like, it's like it's the back of his hand. He can build a freaking cottage by himself from scratch. He can just go and build a fence by himself from scratch. He can go and do this, he can go and do that. And those are just a couple of excuses, but like there's so many things I've seen him do. That's just like, how do you know how to do all these things just in a flick? It's like he's programmed to just do all these things. Bro, that, you, that is talent. I could never do that. There's so much talent in that and I let him know these things. Where a hater would probably downplay that and not say nothing positive about it and, and all this stuff. But man, I see that and it's like, geez. Like it's actually mind blowing to me. I acknowledge what's going on. I acknowledge the truth. I acknowledge reality. But a lot of motherfucking haters, bro, they can't acknowledge reality. They're delusional. They could never compliment something like that. They could never say anything positive. It's all negativity with them. And I just so happen to be here exposing it. But it is so true, man. And I know all you guys know it's the truth. So, <clears throat> I encourage all you guys, no matter where you're at in life, to be more encouraging to others even, man. It's not going to hurt your success, I promise. It's not going to hurt your success. I don't care where you're at. I don't care if you're in the pits of hell. It's not going to hurt your success. If you see something impressive by somebody else, if you see something special in somebody, whatever it is, when you see it, just be a good person. Be a good player. Be a team player, bro. Say something positive to someone that's putting in the work that deserves every bit of recognition that they could receive. So... That's the final I'm closing out in this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Please watch it again if you need to. This is a video that a lot of people in this world, bro, truly, truly need. Truly. 